subscribe to the channel and comment down below saying I subscribe to this one shout out giveaway. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Homer Hub. Major League Baseball, more commonly known as MLB, is a professional American baseball organization. It is one of the oldest baseball associations of the US and Canada. Over the years, the league has produced some of the finest players and Babe Ruth and Barry Bonds are among them. Fans of the two have always argued and provided evidence to prove that Babe or Barry is the GOAT. We are here to settle this debate once and for all. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth showed a different category of class and skills when he was on the pitch. He was on a level all on his own. Baseballs were not supposed to be hit as Ruth hit them. Ruth lapped the field when it came to hitting home runs. Ruth was the first to set many baseball records in his career, most of which remain unbroken. He was the first player to hit 30, 40, 50, and then an astounding 60 homers in a season. Most players have significantly failed in achieving even half of what Ruth has achieved in such a small amount of time. He became an all-time leader in baseball when he hit a total of 138 runs in his career, the fastest ever. When he hit his 700th home run, no one was even close to achieving what he had. Ruth was a great fan of eating hot dogs and drinking beer. He was always regarded for ketchup at a bar nearby, but a hot dog before that was a must. Regardless, he always delivered his A-game. Ruth is known to be the best left-handed pitcher in the league before he became famous for being a power hitter. He went 94-46 with a 2.2. 28 ERA and had as many shutouts as Pedro Martinez, 17. Maybe his greatest accomplishment in baseball was helping to make the game popular again after the 1990 Black Sox scandal. Ruth was one of the most iconic figures in American sports, and along with heavyweight champion Jack Dempsey, they ruled the 1920s like the most famous men in America. I think what's so unique about all the different items in the auction is obviously there are you know, autographed baseballs and bats and this sort of things you would expect. I really like the cleats with the old actual metal on the bottom. Really interesting things from both his personal life and his baseball career. Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds, in comparison to Ruth, possessed more of a puzzling personality, which is why he often dismissed and rubbed people away from him. But this doesn't mean he didn't perform well on the field. Bonds was a complete package when it came to baseball. He is maybe the best defensive left fielder ever. Eight gold gloves, an owner of 514 career steals, and of course, he could hit. He is proud to have won three MVP titles, and we believe that he should have won a couple more. He holds this title alongside nine other players who also have their names in the Hall of Fame. But it is important to note that this was before he started using PEDs. Unfortunately, he was never able to reach 3k hits in his career and it only stopped at 2935 but nobody must have ever had the same walks as him he's a leader in walks he has 2258 free passes which put him in a comfortable position against the 368 walk margin between him and ricky henderson in second and this game is tied and he hits one high he hits one deep mccovey calls The case against Ruth. The biggest strikes against Ruth are the fact that pitchers were not as big and didn't throw as hard as they do today. He is thought to have not played against the best players. African American players were not allowed to play and neither were Latinos. Now there is a documented history of Ruth playing 16 games against African American players and he batted close to .500, but that still doesn't mean that this happened regularly. Also, this might seem weird to sports fans today, players did not work out religiously. It was because they had to take other jobs during the offseason and another significant factor would be no pitcher ever threw him a slider. The case against Barry Bonds. You you all know where this is headed. Steroids. We were serious when we talked about PEDs. Bonds also played in the expansion era where you had guys pitching in the major leagues that would have never made a big league team before. Bonds' problem with steroids is bigger than we think it could be. Performance enhancing drugs are a mistake no one should ever even try to make due to its controversial nature because it meddles with games that are meant to be fair. We're going to turn now to that Barry Bonds verdict. The baseball star's trial over steroid use ended yesterday and he's been found guilty of at least one crime that could send him to jail instead of the Hall of Fame. Baseball's home run king walked out of court a convicted felon. <clears throat> Thank you. Convicted of obstructing justice. The evidence that he did steroids might have been there, but did he knowingly do steroids was the question. And we couldn't prove that beyond a reasonable doubt. In conclusion, Bonds, before his PED scandal, was undoubtedly the best player in baseball. Ruth did not have to play the best competition, which is why we feel he might not have been faced with challenges in the form of opposing teams that test him to his ultimate ability. But we will assume that he was, since none of this was his fault anyways. So, Ruth can be believed to be the best pitcher and player outside the field, but for Bonds, his PED scandal makes the decision a bit difficult for us. It is because we often think if his career would have been the same, if not only for steroids. If he would have been able to hit 70 home runs in a season only, so we conclude to decide with Ruth here. Both have their fair share of significant drawbacks, but we have to crown Ruth to be the go to baseball for his fair achievements during his career. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.